So Club Connect started last year um, during the pandemic. We were, me and Tyler were in a different club and they asked us to start a project. Um, and we both kind of thought of the idea of working with the special ed students at Athena um, because I've had past experience with it before and there was nothing really like that at Athena already. So I guess the goal of Club Connect when we started it during the pandemic was to bridge the gap between students in special programming and general education students and we feel like we've done that we've really connected them and built long-term relationships with these kids so that's been really yeah cool. definitely now club connect is in person every thursday um last block of the day and we have a ton of volunteers this year and a ton of um special ed students from the classrooms and yeah so it's pretty much the beginning of club connect i guess the focus on what we like to do is kind of hands-on things so mm -hmm. we've done different science experiments we've cooked things We've done slushies, we've done card games, like um, learning games, stuff like that. And we also, in the beginning, we would kind of connect it to what they were learning in class. So they were learning about the experimental process and we did, we made a volcano mm -hmm. and got to see it erupt and yeah, it's been really cool. Alexis and I will honestly, we've gotten to know the kids and gotten to know what they like and what their interests are. So it's really based off what they like to do. We kind of get their input too as to what they want to see us do. And I think that's really cool because it's things that we all enjoy and we're kind of yeah. finding common ground with them and things that they like and what we like. It's really opened our eyes to the fact that there isn't as much of a difference as we like to think that there is and that it's only superficial. So. We are all going through the same problems. We all have the same, I guess, life circumstances yeah. in high school. Um, it's just the perspective and how we look at it is different. I think Tyler and I have actually learned a lot about not only them, but ourselves, like basically how we react to situations and like things that we make a big deal that they look at is very black and white. And I think it's, it's really cool. And a lot of the volunteers already have already been reaching out to us saying that this effect um, was also affected them. Um, and I think, I mean, Tyler and I over the summer literally were on phone calls with them. I mean, we've built some pretty awesome bonds with them that um, I think we're going to carry way outside of high school. So we reached out um, to our principal about making this kind of go district wide as soon as it got like an official, like passed as an official extracurricular here at Athena this August. She thought it was a great idea to see if we can get this district wide. So we reached out to the district superintendent and Ms. Groutman loved the idea and actually had me and Tyler sit in on a meeting um, just a couple months ago and present the idea to a bunch of student leaders across the four high schools in Greece. But from a district level, we're hoping to make this go so each individual high school has like a Club Connect Arcadia, Club Connect Olympia, and um, basically bring the district together as a whole. Tyler and I had the idea of having a Club Connect Walk, um, where all four Greece schools and pretty much anyone in the Greece community can come, and it's going to be on Athena's new turf. The main purpose is to bring funds toward Club Connect for the following year, so that Tyler, when he takes over the club, has funds to use and um, other schools as well. Yeah, we're going to have food, and it's really just to kind of bring everyone in the Greece community together into one place. Like I mentioned, to just kind of meet everyone and see what their stories are, because that's something that we're really interested in. Yeah.